ATL, what's good, man? What's good? And it's another bright and beautiful, prosperous day out here in Atlanta. You know, a hump day, one time for your mind. So, I want to talk to you guys about um, another program I'm doing. I know you guys probably like, man, how many programs you got? I got a program for every domain that there is. You know, urban survival, rural survival training. Of course, my fitness plans, 21 day fitness plan, which I'm, 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 I'm revising it right now as we speak, man, in this, in this season of spring, we're, we're flourishing. You can smell the birds, the bees, and the flies in the trees. That pollen is going to be on the rise, right. man. So if you, let's talk about the executive protection mindset. So what is the executive protection mindset? It's basically a mindset of stoicism, being able to self control yourself, self-regulate yourself. Now, you don't have to be into the security and the protection industry to incorporate the executive protection mindset into your day-to-day -day operations. I'm gonna tell you why. It's because it's just all about the human potential. You have the potential to overcome certain limitations that you're not good at. Let's take fitness, for example. You can't run a mile. Like, I, I used to not be able to run. I was, I was a, a sprinter, but I wasn't a long runner like that. For real, for real. It's a behavior that had to be taught by a coach. Coaches and stuff like that. So for me, when I went to the military, I felt like I was weak in that department. I was good in push-ups and stuff like that. Squats, crunches, but I was like, you know, I don't be doing no six, seven, eight, nine miles. So that was a, a, a thing that I wanted to you know, grow and to learn how to do and just adapt to that community, that organization of, of runners. And that's what I did. So that's what the executive protection mindset is about. It's about a mindset of developing your character. Because what, what plays a critical role in violence, escalating from zero to 60, is being aware, overcoming fear, being able to operate in that fight or flight mode as well, and understanding how to be a diplomat and diplomatically talk yourself out of a situation so that way you can you, you can give yourself an out or give somebody else an out so you can go back home to your girl at the end of the night but that's ultimately what we want to do nobody want to meet their untimely demise because they couldn't control their temper now take it for me i'm a brother who come from a background of having an explosive temper that's just what it is but over the course of time, like I said, I've always wanted to prosper and become better. Had a lot of opportunity, blew a lot of opportunity. I um, fortunately came across people who was able to mentor me and, ex and, 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 and give me counsel on the things that I need to work on. You know, shadow work. A lot of us got shadow work to do. And a lot of that is the EQ. Not the IQ all the time, but the EQ because it's really all about how well you're able to kind of deal with people. And you got to remember, if you're out here pressing in these cities like Atlanta, major cities and stuff like that, man, you're going to be dealing with people. So the executive protection mindset is just that. How well are you with knowing yourself internally? Because you, you can't really control everybody else, to be honest. We all know this. But you can control the self. You can control how you respond and react to certain things that you may not agree with. The executive protection mindset. Also, I tap into the OODA loop. How to orient yourself based off of your surroundings. Um, this goes for anybody. Men, women. You gotta look at Atlanta's landscape, man. A lot of people are getting robbed. A lot of people are getting shot. A lot of people cars being broken into. Look, we got all this, this stuff on the news about squatters. People just really going in folks' houses and just squatting. Like, what's up? What's happening? You see the desperation of survival is kicking in. So how well are you with protection? Understanding your surroundings. Understand that there's going to become a time where you're going to have to, unfortunately, incorporate some of your... Your, your skills so that way you can make it home at the end of the night so stay tuned for the executive protection mindset like i really break down the science behind the fight the flight or flight the fight or flight response i break down the science on just how to become a, a, a aware and how
how to be able to protect you and yours, putting together a survival checklist, load plan, even for your car. If you like to take trips, you got to make sure that you have a load plan. What is your what is your contingency plan? And it's a two part plan I'm working on. This right here, I just kind of gave you this right here, like what I'm describing now is more the, the, the technical part of the executive protection mindset. And, and then later on, I'll be doing a tactical component of the executive protection mindset. Where we tap into like more weapons, things that you can use to protect yourself, putting a little bit more fitness in there. So I'm gonna marry my fitness plan into the security and protection plan. So that way I can really drive the point home on why it's important to always stay in shape with functional fitness, calisthenics, becoming more athletic. So that way it can correlate over to it in case you need to shoot, move, and communicate. Get yourself off, off the X, get your, your family off the X, protect your house, know how to protect your house, know the things that you need to get in case we have like a, a um, social economic collapse, what type of food that you need to store in your crib. Having that power generator, because guess what? The thing that we take advantage, think about this, the thing that a lot of people take advantage is electricity. Think about them times of where it was pouring down rain, and all of a sudden, electricity go out. You're like, damn, man, you don't know how comfortable we got it until they're going power off. Now you have to wait on Georgia Power, however long that takes to get the power back on. You know, so how many, how many candles and, and batteries do you got on standby? So that way you can see. Because the first line of defense is, is, is to have the competitive edge on anything that's going to be placed in our way to trip us up. You know, so the executive protection mindset, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for that. And hope you guys will enjoy this final product. And just stay, stay tapped into the Black Superman journey, man, because I got a lot to talk about and a lot more to share, man. So with that, until next time, you guys stay focused, stay disciplined, stay vigilant, and I'll see you guys in a minute.